Good morning, coyotes, and welcome back to CVTV. My name is Andre Inclan. And my name is Maria Campos. And here's what we have for you guys today. Past and present com computer science students are welcome to join the Computer Science Honor Society. Our community service project this year is to teach sixth graders at Quartz Hill Elementary School how to code. This opportunity can lead to a graduate cord. See Miss Luce in room 304 for details. Also in room 304, girls who code are going to the Collins Aerospace for a tour over the fall break on Thursday, October 10th. See Miss Luce in room 304 for field trip information. Copper Pocalypse in room 309, Thursday after school. Come and join us for some laughs and learn improv comedy. Monday to Wednesday, it is officially homecoming week. Tickets for dance are on sale in the bookstore for $25 through Friday. Monday to Wednesday, it is officially a homecoming week, everyone. Tickets for the dance are on sale in the bookstore for $25 through Friday from this day. And if you plan on bringing a guest, all paperwork must be turned in by Wednesday, September 25th, which is today. The homecoming dance is on Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m., which is three hours under the large Ramada. The dance will be out of this world, literally out of this world. Now it is time to turn over the sports to Mia. Let's go, Mia. How's it going? The Ice Coyotes are still on a roll, beating Corona on Saturday 9-0, but losing a tough game to... Pinnacle on Sunday 5-3. Braden Moore, Devin Wang scored once, Jacob Holson scored twice, and Chandler Manbeck scored three goals in two games. And the Sika Storm rolls on with another hat trick plus two more goals. Steven Sika leads the league in goals with 12 in only four games. The next game is Saturday, October 5th against Scottsdale. The puck drops in the ice den in Scottsdale at 535. Games are free, so come support your Coyotes. This past, wait, okay, now there's a break. This past weekend, the Campo Verde swim team made history again as Campo won second place in the combined competitions, all division boys and girls. The Brophy is that supposed to be, oh it's Brophy. The Brophy Invitational is probably the most pre prestigious invite in all of Arizona high school swimming. So this is quite an accomplishment for this team. They took first place in the Division Two in both the boys and the girls. Con congratulations to our swimmers. And that's all for sports. Back to you guys. Make sure your shoes match. Because you know, and make sure you do your scripts. Oh, shoot. Thank you, Mia. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Kenny. My bad. Thank you so much, Kenny, for that news report. That was very great. Tuesday to Tuesday. Today's spirit day is Space Jam slash Jersey Day. Wednesday is Visco slash E-Boy. Thursday is Throwback Day. Friday is Campo Crazies. Teachers, please fill out the Google form in your email to share your class's school spirit. And remember, that is this week, not next week, because this week is Spirit Week, so it's going to be really cool. Tomorrow is Visco Girl. Okay, we just said that. Very cool. You know what that means. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we're going to turn it over to uh, the weather with uh, Cody. So I uh, hope you guys have a great time over there. See you guys later. Thursday, we'll have a high of 88 and a low of 67. With That means that it's going to get colder outside and there's going to be a 20% chance of rain. Lastly, on Friday, we'll have a high of 86 and a low of 67 with a 10% chance of rain. So we'll have a cold week, and that's all for the weather. Uh, this is Cody Carlson signing off. Life is rough, so wear a helmet. And before we got... We, bruh. <laughs> Okay, my bad. Uh, before we let you guys go, today we're going to have a special and very epic announcement for Questionable Eggnog, which is a very cool uh, program that we're doing on the show, which is very cool. Uh, can we play that right now? It's going to be very cool. Hey guys, welcome back to Awkward Eggnog. I'm your host, Gary McKen. We got uh, another question from Cody the Squash. Um, it's not really a question. It's more of a picture of Keanu Reeves, and it says you're breathtaking. Um, it's kind of a dead meme, but, you know, 
Uh, I was going to say you put effort into the picture. You probably just copy and paste that. Nick Potter 99 asks, if the bell doesn't dismiss us, then why does it exist? Now, that's a great question because I know a lot of teachers say um, the bell doesn't excuse you. I excuse you. Um, here, here's what you got to do. Steer 14. The earth is flat because the sun is a disco ball. It goes up and disappears and then comes back down and repeats. That's not even a question. Joshua Campbell 1 asks, how did humans get on earth? Um, how do I do this in a non-offensive way? So the flying spaghetti monster flew to a floating ball of water and exploded inside of it and created humans. Giraffe 130, is egg in the nog or the nog in the egg? Um, egg, it's egg nog, so egg would go first. Nick Ruiz, 03 asks, <clears throat> What came first, the chicken or the uh, egg? The logic to this question is unknown and argued by many, but I believe the egg came first. If the chicken is hatched from an egg, the chicken itself couldn't have come first unless it appeared out of thin air based on study done in recent years. There used to be a photo chicken and rooster, which were organisms found on a moon found far from Earth. These organisms were very similar to chicken, but not exactly what is seen in today's world. These photo chickens laid an egg and the photo rooster fertilized it, creating the egg in which a chicken hatches from like it does now in present times. Therefore, the egg came first. Um, you kind of already answered the question. You said the egg came first, so... Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. Well, I think that's all for the news today. Thank you guys for watching and listening to this week's news show. And remember, Coyotes, if you have any comments or concerns, go out to our Twitter page, which is at CampusCVTV, and we'll answer anything you guys have there. Uh, my name is Andre, and remember, guys, always go, whole T for whole. <laughs> and I'm Maria, and we'll see you guys next week.